Hi guys, welcome to this session on a Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you the different ways that you can get project data into either an Excel file or a PowerPoint presentation. So first of all, if I copy the table part of this, if I just grab this data here and copy it, that will be one way to get this into Excel. If I open Excel, I can just paste that in and it just comes in as data. You'll just see that as data. If I just make this full screen so you can see it. So if I just paste that, so there it comes in and you just mess about with that in terms of widening columns and so, so forth. So if I undo that, that's one way. A better way, I think, is if I highlight it slightly different, if I highlight the whole row and copy it, what I'm going to get now is all this information as well. So copy, control C, into Excel this time, paste special, paste link, and then OK. That will drop that in, and that is a live link with the source data. So if I go and change, for example, something like that duration there in project, if I change that to two, three days, say, eh? that will be picked up in Excel. Three days, so that's a live link. And I can obviously expose or remove bits and bobs in this on this side in project before I copy it if I want. So that's two ways. Another way I could do this is I could go into project and use the project map to get things into Excel. So I've got file save save as and this time browse. I'll put this on the on my desktop. Uh, it's called software implementation and I'll just change that to an Excel file. Excel workbook and then what it'll do now is start the wizard and I'll just follow the wizard through. It says selected data. Um, I, I haven't actually got anything selected but that just means what you're looking at. And then you've got the option of creating a new map or use an existing map. So I'll use an existing map because I've already got one. And then next and then I'll just pick one of these. These are all ones I've done. And then next and then whatever you've got ticked here creates a sheet in Excel. So I've just got tasks ticked. Next, that's showing me what it's going to look like. That's the information that's going to come through and then finish. And then that will drop that into, if I just minimize these, onto my desktop software implementation up the top there as an Excel file. When I open that, it will show me the information. There it is. So it's brought the information through like so. And that's the data there. So it's straightforward. That's using the map and you can create a macro to record that process. So if I close that off, not going to save that. And I'll close this one off actually. I'll just delete this. So there's no link. And then back to projects. So that's a different way. Another thing you can do is if you've got reports, if I go into the reports tab and custom, I've got one report there, but if I go to dashboards, project overview, that's the project overview, nothing great going on there, resource, resource overview, all right, that'll do. Now, I could do control A, and that will highlight everything, and then copy, or you can just use this copy report feature, copy, and then if I come back down into Excel and paste, that will copy the report as a diagram. And if I go into Word or PowerPoint, I can paste it in there. So that's a Word document. So I'll just paste that in there and just click off it. You'll have to obviously maybe change the uh, layout of this to be a landscape. So I've made it landscape. And then if I just delete all this off and paste it in again, so it's landscape, it's probably fit now fit better anyhow and if I just zoom that down a little bit so you can see it and then the same if I go into PowerPoint and create a new file in PowerPoint and then just paste it in there and let's see what the what it looks like in PowerPoint control V again it comes in like that if I put that into main full screen that looks okay so that's a way of getting your project data either into Excel as data or 
into PowerPoint as a, a picture or as an image, if you like, or Word or Excel, whichever way you want, using copy and paste. So if I come out of that, just close this PowerPoint down, don't want to save that. So that Word document, don't want to save that. So I'll close that down, Control W, don't save that. So I'll then go back into Project. So there's just a couple of different ways that you can bring data in. So you can use the map, you can just copy and paste. You can use Paste Special and Paste Link. You can copy a report and paste it into Word, Excel or PowerPoint. All different ways of getting in your data into a different program. Word of warning, sometimes this list is far too big to fit on one page. No matter what you do, you may have to use filters. Filter either one of these, create your own filter at the bottom there, down here, or just use date range filters in here. These filters are quite useful, or you're just taking the ticks on or off on this little bit. Totally up to you. But due to the nature of Microsoft Project, these files can be quite big. Anyhow, that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you in the next one.